Hey, what's up everyone? Jeff here from Pure Tesla. We got a great episode of Tesla Tweets coming your way. Things like Enhanced Summon, Tesla Tari, and if you've ever wondered what that tiny camera is up by your rear view mirror, Elon's gonna let you know today. Stay tuned. Okay, a ton of tweets to get through in a short amount of time. I like to keep the show between five and 10 minutes long. Got a challenge with that today. Here we go. Elon tweeted out earlier today that Enhanced Summon is coming as early as next week to the US. This is great news because I'm sure you've seen videos like this and wondered, when am I gonna be able to do that? Well, if you have either Enhanced Autopilot or Full Self Driving in the US, you will be getting this as early as next week and that is super exciting news. Elon also tweeted out that the team is working super hard on the international versions but regulatory approval is slowing them down. So if you're abroad, overseas, Europe, wherever you may be, and you're expecting even just navigate on autopilot, stay tuned. He's working hard and he thinks that he's coming to a very close conclusion. Somebody asked, why did you change enhanced autopilot to just autopilot only? Elon tweeted out saying to make core autopilot more affordable. Fair enough. The Tesla account tweeted out that Tesla Atari games are coming as early as this week, including games like Missile Command, Centipede, and Asteroids. These are all great additions to the Tesla Tari family, and you'll be able to access those when you get software updated as early as this upcoming week. Living Tesla tweeted to Elon saying that until Tesla or Elon Musk explain what that tiny camera does inside of the Model 3, they're gonna cover it up with something that they got on Amazon. Elon tweeted out stating that it's there for when they start competing with Uber and Lyft, and when they allow people to start using their car to make money for them while it's just not in use. That way, in case somebody messes up their car, they have a video to be able to prove it. Somebody tweeted in response to that saying that getting that software figured out for the shared autonomy component is going to be a true game changer in the way in which we own vehicles. Elon responded stating that yes, instead of someone needing to drive their car personally, they can ultimately manage a fleet of self-driving cars. Pretty futuristic, but pretty exciting too. Somebody then responded stating, it's hard to wrap my head around the idea that my car might be earning money for me when I'm either asleep or at work or just not using it. Elon responded saying, that's exactly the idea and Tesla's being made today. Cars that are already on the road have the capability to do just that. It's just a matter of finishing the software and getting regulatory approval for this to become a reality. He then followed up with the original post, which was, why do I have this camera in my car and are you spying on me? And Elon also said that it can be also used to supplement the cameras on the outside of the vehicle as the interior camera can also see th through the two back rear windows and the actual trunk window. Elon stated that only the external cameras are active as of now. And when they do activate the internal camera, there'll be an option to turn it off. With regards to sentry mode, somebody tweeted that Elon's the sentry mode alarm was triggered and my car is in an airport parking lot a thousand miles away. Can, why can't I check the footage online? Elon responded stating that sentry mode is barely in version 1.0 and in the coming months, you should expect some pretty great updates. Along the same line, someone tweeted Elon asking that they wanna keep sentry mode on pretty much for its entirety. And Elon responded saying improvements are coming soon. And that links us back to a previous Tesla Tweets episode where we talked about the different features that Sentry Mode is going to include. Location-based, always on, always off, all of that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out a previous Tesla Tweet. Reagan back on Twitter asked Elon, what's the situation for Tesla in Texas? Elon responded that it's looking positive and they will be able to continue servicing their cars in Texas. Dave Chung on Twitter tweeted to Elon stating that they love their Model 3, but they suggested two improvements, that there's a clear way to exit the vehicle and there's a clear way to enter the vehicle. They tweeted the picture of the little vinyl stickers that people are putting on their door button that makes it obvious that that is the button to open the door and also stated that maybe there could be a little imprint or a dent in the bigger part of the Model 3 handle. Elon simply responded, okay. So maybe we'll see that in a future build of the Model 3 and Model Y because they share very similar hardware. In response to the release of Navigate on Autopilot without lane change confirmation, Quinn Nelson tweeted to Elon stating that, hey, it sounds awesome, but Navigate on Autopilot is still sketchy in 8.4. Hopefully there's some improvements or there's no way I'm letting it change lanes for me. Elon tweeted in response saying that the neural net is also upgraded in this release, not just a settings change. You should be able to see that Navigate on Autopilot and Autopilot in general is significantly more stable in this release. 
anecdotally, I've found that it is to be tremendously better uh, in my commute traffic back and forth. It does not fail. It does not do the lane bump anymore. And we got a video coming out of that in the near future. Jake Cooley on Twitter tweeted to Elon stating that his only complaint is that I would like to hug the outside line when passing vehicles, especially semis. Otherwise, navigate on autopilot is great. Elon responded stating that yes, needs to be the best clear path. Lane lines are just one input, alluding to the idea that we might be straying from the dead center in the lane and being able to determine which is the safest path to get past either another vehicle or get through a sticky situation. This might be a sign of increased functionality coming to the Tesla app. Cheryl Crow tweeted in response to her tweet from last time stating that the problem was solved with the solution after getting to Tesla. It might suggest some screen controls in the app in case you're stuck when your screen goes black. Elon responded saying, I totally agree. The Tesla phone app should have the same controls that the car center screen has so that your phone can serve as a complete backup. I think that's an incredible idea. Just as a functional fun tweet about how the Tesla reads cars in front of the cars in front of you, somebody tweeted out stating, am I seeing the screen correctly? How can the car see the cars that are so far ahead? Elon responded, radar. Now, somebody took it a little bit further, stating that radar is, is great because unlike LiDAR, which everyone has been stating is super required for full self-driving, it says it sees the world through the way that our eyes or cameras cannot. It sees through most bad weather. It can see metallic debris too inconspicuous for vision. It can sometimes see reflections past the ones ahead of you. It can provide both. And Elon responded precisely. So a plug for radar and the way in which it helps cars with autopilot. Someone with base autopilot tweeted out asking, is the new neural net update tied to the firmware update or will base autopilot owners see AP improvements too with that update? Elon responded stating that base autopilot will have the same neural net, so core functionality also improves for those base autopilot customers. Okay, I think I made it through in less than 10 minutes. If you have any comments or if there's anything that I missed, certainly leave those below. You can also reach me on Twitter at PureTesla. Hey, if you're a fan of email, email me at jeff at puretesla.com. Until next time, hope you have a great week and we'll see you soon with Navigate on Autopilot videos. We got Enhanced Summon coming out. We got a lot of great content planned for you guys. Certainly hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet on our channel. And if there's anything that you've been dying to see, certainly let us know by one of those methods we spoke of earlier. Until next time, have a great week.